Hey guys, welcome back to another Mountain Sledder video. We're here riding the uh, Pro RMK. It has the new Series 8 2 and 3 quarter inch lug track. It has the new Series 8 2 and 3 quarter inch lug track. Uh, it's a brand new track this year. Including the track and the Quick Drive 2 system, it's five pounds lighter. Uh, slightly different design. It's available in a 155 length and a 165. So with the new three and a half inch pitch, they had to go to the 165. Guys, there's two things to know if you ever get on a sled that Sean's been riding. Number one, the, the hand warmers are gonna be cranked on as hot as they go. And number two, it's gonna be covered in sticks and moss and needles and all kinds of junk because of where he's been riding the thing, so. My turn now on this uh, new Series 8 track. It's a two and three quarter inch lug. This is the 155 on the Pro Arm K, new for 2021, and the Quick Dry 2, which we've been talking a lot about. It's really cool. So I'm gonna try and keep it out of the woods here as best I can, and uh, go for a little rip here. We've got a beauty little spot, so here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw, this is nice snow. Oh man, this thing hooks up. Let's go down a ways, shall we? See what we got down here. And up the side hill. Oh, I like this. All right, so what do I think of this new Series 8 track from Polaris? I think it's awesome. It really hooks up. Like, I'm surprised. The conditions today are like soft snow right where we are, but there's a base under there. And uh, man, it just, it hooks up. I was lofting the skis there, no problem. And uh, you know, not even on a chaos here. I'm on a pro MK and the skis are in the air. So the short track, the 155 definitely helps with that, but feels really quick with that quick drive too. It's hard to say. I don't know if it's the track or the quick drive. I know combined on average for the track lengths, uh, the two combined are five pounds lighter. So all that rotating mass, a lot less weight. Feels like it spools up really quick, snappy throttle. Um, I'm loving this track in these conditions right now. I suspect it's probably good all around. We haven't really had any firm snow or spring snow or anything like that to try it out, but it feels better than a 2.6 to me. My experience so far, I'm, I'm really impressed. It man, like it hooks up good, hey? Yeah, I don't feel like there's any trenching going on. I had the skis like right up up there and there wasn't even, even like a bump or anything. It was just, yeah, it's good. And I was kind of crawling along uphill too, and just, and then when I hit it, it was, it was good. I like it. I'm gonna poke through here to that one opening and then head up. Oh, I gotta go up around this junk. Yeah, I was just crawling up there, and it was still digging in. Huh. Somebody on a snow bike went right up that. Okay. Yeah. 
Ah, uphill cards for this Series 8. So I've been a big fan of the Polaris 2.6 belt drive combo on previous years. And after riding this new Q2 2.75 track, I think it's even uh, an upgrade on the 2.6. So we got a couple days in riding this new 2.75 track and I'm a big fan. I can't tell you exactly what makes it better, but I just know I like it better. Whether it's the track speed and just a lack of trenching maybe compared to a three inch. In my mind, it's the best between a three inch and the 2.6. You kind of get the best of both worlds. So we've been swapping sleds back and forth that has the chain case and the new quick drive two. And the throttle response is noticeably quicker on the quick drive. You can notice for sure. It's just instant, quick, silent. And yeah, you just take off. So with the new quick drive two and the new series eight 2.75 track, there's a noticeable weight reduction, which I think transfers to faster track speed, which I think is contributing to why I like it so much. It's a great combo and the one to choose for me, in my opinion. So that's it for our little test of the Series 8 track. Sean and I are big fans. I hope you get to try it out soon too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeehaw! Where did he go? John is gone.